All right, everybody. Hello. Welcome back. We are on lesson 12, uh, organizing content with Flexbox level four. I am working with the code.org CS discoveries curriculum. Um, and we are updating the tutorials because the original ones are from a four or five, six years ago and the curriculum has been updated. So I wanted something for my students to be able to access if they need the help. So, um, just to go over again, we have our instructions, which we will go through. We have our show me how to get started. So a little GIF if you need it. Um, we have our help and tips, which are all kinds of little documents uh, to help you. We have our lesson resources page with um, vocabulary, introduced code and our cheat sheet, which is also open. Um, so we've done all of this. We are now looking at aligning items. So this is where it's going to get kind of fun. Um, and let's get into it. So here we go. Align items. After we go through our first three steps of enabling flex, defining the flow direction, whether the item should wrap or not, and defining how the item should be distributed horizontally, we have the option of defining how the item should be distributed in the container vertically. We can do this with the align items property. This property has five value options. Your job is to add the align items property to each container and decide which of the five values to use for each container to make the page look more like the image to the right. So again, we've got different levels. Uh, do this, add the align items property for each of the five div container rules in the style sheet. So here's our index file and we can see everything's already set up here. We are good to go to cause some mischief. So we're going to head over to the style.css file. Um, and we have, uh, let's see. So add the align items property for each of the five div container rules in the style sheet. Match the image on the right by applying the correct value with each of the align items properties. So container one, the div container has a background color. So you can see how the items are positioned. There we go. Um, background color, create a flex layout, done, define the flow, all of that's done. If the item should wrap, yes, justify content. So here's where we're going to get to have some fun. Add the code below to define how items should be distributed vertically within the container. All right. So we've got five options, flex start, flex end, center, baseline stretch. All right. So for the purple one, we're trying to make this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we know we need to put align items. Um, let's try baseline and see what that does. Okay. So that did do something, but not what we wanted. So we're going to take that one back. All right. Let's try center. Nope. No, I didn't want that. Didn't work. Let's try flex end. Um, no, but I have a feeling there we go. All right. So we needed flex start. Okay. So container one flex start. That looks right. That looks right. Let's move on to the next one. So if that is flex start, I have a feeling this is going to be flex end. Let us find out. So if I say align items flex end, that looks correct. That looks correct. Let's keep going. All right. And so again, we've got start finished. We've got end finished. So now we're down to these three. Uh, we are in the purple layer and I have a feeling that this is going to be center. So let's find out, um, if we do align items and center, did that do what I wanted it to do? It looks like it did. All right. So that one's done. I'm going to head to green. Okay. Green, 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 green. Here we go. Um, container four, add code below. We're in the right spot. So align items. And this one is going to be, I have a feeling I, I'm thinking this one's going to be baseline. Remember that very first one we tested. Let's find out. All right. That looks correct. That looks correct. Excellent. And then container five. So this is the last one. Um, and you, you know, it looks correct already, but that doesn't mean that we're done. We still need to add the code. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to say align items, oops, items. And this is the only one we haven't used yet. I bet it's going to be the one that we need. So align item stretch. 
All right. I think, does this all look correct, guys? Help me out. Yes, 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 yes. All right. I think we're good. Remember, and right here, don't forget to refer back to your Flexbox cheat sheet. So everything that we just looked at is right here. All right. And so notice, though, that there's two of these. There's a line items, which is what we just did. And there's also a line content, which I bet we're going to get into next. All right, so let's uh, let's finish this off. Press the finish button and go find out. See you there.